from Dipology Hydrographics and today I'm going to be showing you how to flame treat a plastic part. The reason you would want to flame treat a part is if you're dealing with more complex items like this. The machines that build these objects will wind up using release agent to eject it from the mold. And so that release agent will wind up seeping into the surface of the plastic and that will deteriorate the bond between the surface and the paint you use, which you do not want to have happen for your hydro dipping project. So I'm going to show you how to determine what parts and plastics you can use, and then we'll go through the steps on how to flame treat your project. treated your part you're going to want to use some alcohol on it to clean it up and you got to make sure that you've turned off your torch and kept it out of the immediate area so that you're not igniting your alcohol and you can get this 91% alcohol at a drugstore or a supermarket you're going to want to use paper towel and just fold it several times and then you're going to douse it with the alcohol And you're all done. You're just going to want to repeat that process where you are using the torch on the product and seeing those oils come up and then removing it with the alcohol and you just keep repeating until you see no more oils and then after that you can use mild dish soap and water to wash off the product just to get rid of those residual oils and then you'll be ready to use primer. We recommend that you use a flex primer for plastics if you would prefer, you can use the adhesion promoter, but if you do use this product, you're going to have to test it on a small portion. You don't want to have any adverse effects to the entire piece that you're working on. Thanks for watching our video on how to flame treat plastic parts. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for additional information, products, and services, or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Bye!